sons and daughters of God, if you know that you're different, <clears throat> it's okay. If you're, if you're a little bit different than everybody else, all your friends, relatives, then you, you know, you suspect or have an idea that you are the elect or you're called or you, you're chosen or something like that, that you're going to be doing something special for the Lord one of these days, even though you might not be doing a whole lot for him right now. You, it's good to be always working on our shortcomings. We all have them. And that's our job is to work on our our own personal shortcomings and to be conscientious of them and not to let us let them get you down when they're difficult to overcome. You know, it's to talk to the Lord about it often, you know, before, during, after, you know, just being honest with him because he is your father. It's a shortcoming that we all have them. That is a job that you have to work on. It's necessary. God gave you, he had, well, he allowed, uh, allows us to have shortcomings so that we can work on them on purpose. He knows it's hard. He knows it's very tough for us to work on them, but he gives us these challenges on purpose to to mold us and shape us and to, so that we can become what he, what he wants us to become. He wants us to overcome these uh, things that need to be overcome. With his help, of course. Of course, we got to ask him about it. And then sometimes we got to do things our own self, you know, depending on what the shortcoming is. If it can be overcome by you or if I can overcome it myself, like, for example, cigarette smoking. I used to smoke. When I used to use a vaporizer, a nicotine vaporizer, you know, well, one of these days I just had to stop doing it. You know, I mean, it was on my mind. It was on my heart. It's a tough thing to do, you know, but I, you know, with, that's just an example. But I, you know, I did it and I still, I still wish I could do it, but I won't do it again because it's a shortcoming. I don't think that the Lord Jesus Christ walked around with a cigar or a cigarette in his hand or, or a vaporizer, a nicotine vaporizer, you know, so I'm trying to be like him. So I'm done with him. And that was my, one of those are a couple of my shortcomings. I'm still working on some other things. You know, but, and, and I know I need God's help in the other things. Absolutely. And I, you know, I cry to him to, to, for these things to, so that I could overcome them, you know, because they're extremely difficult. Some things are extremely difficult. I'm using myself as an example. Use yourself as an example now and just press in and keep talking to God about it all day and all night. Ask him how to deal with it and, you know, talk to him. And then, you know, if you say there's something that you can do, then do it. And then move on to the next thing, because uh, it's time to get ready to be used by the Lord. We're remnant, you know. And, uh, we're spe you know, we're all of God's children are special. But some of us are going to be doing some really, really amazing things here soon. And uh, we need to shape it up. And to, to become as pure as possible, you know, I'd say as pure as possible. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> that's not, you know, if you think about it, you really, none of us can be pure, but um, not while we're here on earth, <laughs> walking around in this flesh, but we can work on things, you know, our, our shortcomings and, and press into the purity of, of God. Psalms 28 is in the description area. Ready? Mm -hmm. Unto, Unto thee, thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. 
be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear my voice of my supplications, when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward the holy oracle. Draw me not away from the wicked, in the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds, and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands, render them to them their desert, Des desert. Because, because they, they regard, regard not, not the works of, of the Lord, Lord nor the, the operation of his hands. He shall destroy them, and will not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with, and with my song will I praise thee. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, and bless thy inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for dying on the cross for me, and Lord, I love you, and thank you for forgiving me of everything I've ever done wrong in my entire life. Lord, you know I talk to you, and I, I do cry at times to you, Lord, because working on things, you know, shortcomings, and they're frustrating sometimes, and they seem to get the best of me, but I'm going to keep on pressing into you, and we're going to get this thing together. I got I gotta do I gotta do the the most that I possibly can. It's humanly possible, oh Lord. Thank you for hearing my cries and my prayers and walking with me all day long and being with me all of the time because I know that you're stretched out across the universe, Lord Jesus. And you see and know everything with every individual and you love us all. And uh, thank you so much for loving me and being my rock. And Father be, don't be silent to me, please. That's, you know, don't be silent to me, because if you are silent to me, then I become like those that go down into the pit. And I need your direction, and I need your counsel, Lord. And I need you to hold on to my hand and, and pull me through, Lord, and to guide me, you know, and to, to lead me. So don't be silent with me, Lord. Let your direction be known to me. Let, me, let my path be known to me that you have set out before me, Lord God. And make it loud and clear, Father. Father, hear the voice of my supplications. And I know that you do. I have everything. You know everything before I, I know it and after I know it. And when I cry unto thee, and when I lift up my hands to, towards the, the holy oracle, Father, thank you, Lord, for hearing my voice. And draw me not, don't draw me away with the wicked, Father. And with the workers of wickedness, that those types of people that speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. I don't want to be counted in that number, Father. You, just, you can go ahead and give them according to, and I'm not self-righteous, Father, but go ahead and do what you do, Father, and give them according to their deeds and according to their um, wickedness and endeavors, Lord Jesus. And give them after the work of their hands and render them um, their desert, Lord Jesus. Yeah, I used to be like that, so, and I've, believe me, I've tasted that dessert and it's not very delicious. Because, um, you know, th those, you know, and I did this, and, but the, they regard not the, the works of the Lord nor the operation of his hands. And he shall destroy them and not build them up. And this is what you decided to do, Lord. This is your law. This is your rule. That's okay with me. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. Thank you for hearing my prayers. It is obvious to me that you are listening and in um, and and, and, and blessing. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and you are my shield. Thank you for being my strength. That's quite obvious in my life. I got, I got up out of bed this morning, and I couldn't have did that without your strength. And I thank you for being my shield. You protect me all the time. You cover me. You got me covered. 
I'm not getting, I'm not, I'm not sick and I'm not dying. I'm shielded against it. And I thank you for that. My heart trusts in him. I do trust you, Lord. And I, I want to trust you more and more all of the time. Every day I'm looking to trust you more all the time. The people want to trust you. The people need, the people want to be strengthened by you. The people want to be shielded by you, Lord Jesus. The people want to hear your voice. Lord Jesus. The people want to know that you're listening to their cries, Lord Jesus. The people want to trust you more. And the people want to be helped. I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoice. The people rejoice in you. I rejoice and I am I'm I really do rejoice. I'm glad. I just got finished eating dinner and a lot of people didn't get a chance to eat dinner today. And I am I rejoice because I got a chance to eat, Lord Jesus. And I thank you so much. And with it, and I and I will sing praises to you in a song, Lord Jesus. And I, I will lift your name up, and I will honor you, and I continuously, Lord Jesus. And and I'm gonna try to do that whether I'm going through a good time or a bad time. Remember, remembering that it's all in the plan that you have laid out for me, Lord. You are my strength. And you are my saving strength. Thank you for saving me and rescuing me because I was definitely going to hell. There's no doubt many a times I, sh I should have ended up there. But um, you saved me. You allowed me to be saved. Thank you so much. You are the saving strength of, of, um, of the anointed. And I thank you for that you chose me to be anointed. I thank you for choosing your people your sons and daughters, um, to be anointed. Save the people, Lord Jesus. Save everyone on this earth and keep them all once they're saved, Lord. And bless their, bless the, thine inheritance and uh, feed them. Feed them good, good food also. Full bellies, everybody that's hungry across the world today, Lord, feed them all. And keep the food going, coming to them. And once they start eating, let them eat every day, Lord Jesus. Feed them and also lift them up forever, Lord Jesus. And keep them saved. Once they become saved, let them know that you love every one of them individually. And keep and and and, and let them stay saved. So, because I want to look, I look forward to seeing them, everybody in paradise. I give you all the honor, the praise, and the glory forever and ever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.